Hello, all you wonderful people! This is Hanime Sims, and welcome back to my channel and another speed build. So, today I'm actually doing yet another shell challenge, which I think might be a surprise because, as I said in my last shell challenge video, I'm not the biggest fan of doing them but yeah I decided to give it another go and I actually turned out pretty satisfied with this one as well so this is the shell challenge uh, that Simmer Kai uploaded who you can find on for example Instagram and YouTube and for this one I was actually inspired by the graphic that Kai made on her Instagram for the challenge announcement and this shell was placed in Strangerville. So this is the world we are building in today. And I believe this is one of the few times I've built here, actually. I'm not the biggest fan of the terrain paint here. Honestly, since we don't have anything similar to use ourselves. So you kind of just have to work with what you have. But yeah, for this one, the terrain actually fit perfectly for this shell and the house I'm building. So Strangerville is actually a beautiful world and I just love this orange desert vibe here and I'm pretty excited to be building in Strangerville today and we are building more of an eclectic house. I'm actually not sure what to call this style because it's not really bohemian either, I think. And it's not like modern or cottagey, even though I did use some of the country kitchen stuff in here, but it's not like any kind of style that I'm already familiar with. And now that I'm thinking about it, eclectic might refer to the style you'd find in the newest kit we have, the decor to the max one, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit conflicted about that and I'm by no means an expert at styles at all. So let me know what style you think this is or what it fits within. <laughs> but yeah, at least all in all this is this is a very green and different desert home, at least to anything I've built before myself. So I'm currently building on the 30 by 20 and excuse me for butchering this lot name but Carpophagus corner lot? <laughs> that was like a really difficult word to pronounce but something like that I think. But at least there's one bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen and living room a tiny office and a backyard with lots of flowers, some planter boxes and a cow plant. <laughs> this is the first time I've actually used one in my builds. And there's also some skill building activities as well like painting chests and the fishing station that came with Eco Lifestyle. So there were actually some rules for this challenge but Guess who didn't read them properly <laughs> before starting to build? So I wasn't, so I actually wasn't supposed to use kits here or use tool mod either. So I planned on not using tool because I did read that one and I was aware of it. But I did slip up sometimes for this one as well. <laughs> like. There was a pipe on the exterior that didn't want to stay on the ground when I placed it there because of the, you know, I raised up the building and yeah, so I had to lower it and I slipped up and I used tool and I also used tool for the fairy lights in the backyard <laughs> just to make it how I wanted it to be. So yeah, I don't think this will be eligible for the actual challenge, but I do like how this turned out anyhow. So it will of course be on the gallery and it will be playtested and ready for you to download when this video comes up, hopefully. 
And there's also something else that I wanted to tell you all because I'm not sure if you've seen but last week the Modern Oasis Springs Home which I did for Lil Sims's challenge actually was featured in her touring video and oh my gosh <laughs> I was yeah I uh, I don't I couldn't believe it at first at all and I just had a freak out I wasn't expecting that at all because I thought it was kind of plain at least on the exterior but I'm really happy she included it and you know just seeing her go through the house and all of her you know feedback it really just meant the world to me to hear it and I'm not used to anyone touring my build so I was just smiling the entire time I I had to pause the video a lot because I just had to you know take a break and take it all in I yeah I'm not really sure how to explain it but it was really unreal uh, but yeah I'm <laughs> actually I'm really glad she enjoyed the house and some of the I IDs I included and yeah especially that she included it among so many other creative and amazing builds as well it just felt really amazing and yeah so i would totally recommend you check out lil simsy's video on the builds for her simsy dino challenge if you haven't already and i also think she just uploaded another shell challenge to her gallery so if you're interested to join that you can check it out as well and I think I might have to take a look at this one as well if I get the time to do so. So when we're on the topic of challenges, I actually announced my personal favorites to my own challenge on my Instagram earlier this week. And I know I said I was going to do a video where, where I go through my favorites and I talk a bit about them, but... I've recently had a lot of stuff to do at work, so I have to work pretty much full time. So I'm actually working on hours, so it's kind of draining to work this long in one sitting. And yeah, so a co-worker of mine is on sick leave and we're a pretty small company so I kind of volunteered to step into their role as a project coordinator which isn't something I've studied for or have experience with at all. I've actually studied social media and design so it's definitely not the same at all but yeah ever since I started working for them working for this company last year I've gotten familiar with how they work and also the systems we use so it wasn't really difficult for me to step in in those kind of areas i think the only thing that i'm not the biggest fan of is like you know calling people or chatting with the customers because my <laughs> my social skills are really bad in my own eyes and i feel like that's such a big responsibility you know that communication with the customers and especially when I'm not experienced at all and luckily I haven't had a lot of that stuff and my boss is aware of it as well so a lot of my communication go through emails and I think that's way better for me but yeah there's a lot of things to keep track of and this is probably probably the busiest time of year for us as well you know during spring and summer and autumn when it's warmer outside for events so it's events that we work with for other companies and things like that so and yeah and especially after the pandemic as well so there's a lot of things going on and just a lot of things to keep track of and <laughs> sometimes I think my brain is going to melt with all of this information and at least I'm trying my best and my boss and co-workers help me whenever I need it and it seems like they're happy with my efforts so 
yeah, I'm happy as well <laughs> to contribute as well. At least, as I mentioned just before, it's still kind of draining. And so whenever I have come home this past week, I haven't felt like playing Sims or any games at all, really, because... I don't know, I'm just feeling lazy when I come home after long hours and this was also the case when I started to get my degree. Yeah, for the past week I've just been watching a lot of stuff basically. I feel like there are periods when I play a lot of games and I don't really do much else. Or I have periods when I just watch stuff and I don't play games, really. <laughs> but yeah, at least for when I work long hours, this is the case as well. And I've just been watching a lot of speed builds, you know, watching Twitch and streams or just regular television and some Norwegian programs. I also watched Heartstopper on Netflix and I've also been following the Depp and Heard trial on YouTube because they stream it as well and I find it interesting to watch and you know it's just all over the internet as well but yeah and yeah just a lot of stuff basically uh, also been watching some Eurovision stuff as well and the semi-finals and final are next week actually and I'm really excited about that because you know I always watch nationals I get into the entries really early I listen to the songs on repeat sometimes you know just these kinds of things so you could say you know Eurovision is one of the highlights of my year and I always look forward to it and you know just how crazy and fun it can be but also for some quality songs as well and we do get introduced to more artists from other European countries that we don't you know you wouldn't know about otherwise except for this stage that we have for you know, European music culture. So at least that's what I'll be watching on Tuesday and Thursday and Saturday when the grand final is. And if you have any favorites, you have to let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear what music and artist you like from this year's Eurovision. As for myself, I'm not too sure who my favorites are. <laughs> I feel like I'm not really biased towards anyone, but at least there are some amazing artists in this year as well. I'm really excited about how Europe is going to react to Norway's uh, entry this year because I feel like it's really out of the box and unique <laughs> and it's you know it's more of like a party song you can dance to it and yeah I'm really excited about that and I really hope at least the televote uh, will be high for our entry <laughs> at least I hope so and I also know that for Greece's entry the artist is actually half Norwegian and half Greek and I think her song is really good as well. I'm just all in all really excited for everything and seeing how everyone's stages are as well because that can really differ from you know nationals to the semi-finals and finals and I think especially for those who don't have the nationals I am familiar with when you know everyone can vote but instead they have like a jury and they kind of go through all of the songs they have been sent and then they pick and that small group picks their favorite and there's not a stage 
or anything from that, but it's just the audio. And that's really exciting to know how do they perform this live. But oh my god, I'm just babbling on about like everything else <laughs> except this build and we're getting close to the end already. So apologies for just, you know, talking about everything else than the build. But as you can see, the interior is coming together. I am working on the bedroom and just, you know, all of this build is very brown and green. I thought it was really fun to just work with this color scheme and I use a lot of objects I don't normally use like this not modern style and it has some dark and warm browns and I think maybe it goes with this more bohemian or industrial vibes that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. If you do know what style this house goes under, you just have to let me know. I just have to know <laughs> to also for like future reference, that would be really helpful. You can also see that I use some of the base game cabinets in the kitchen along with the really pale but pretty green kitchen appliances and counters from the country kitchen kit and i'm also really satisfied with how i found a really similar green color in some base game objects as you can see like the dining chairs and the couch and armchair as well as this long table that goes against the staircase. It almost looks like suitcases, I think, but I also think that one has some kind of boho vibes to it. And yeah, I'm really satisfied with how everything kind of matches and I hope you think so too. And I also weren't able to change the wallpaper on that one wall that that's also connected to the roof. I just couldn't replace it with any other wallpaper with it affecting the exterior so you know trying my best to find colors that match that one and that's just kind of how i ended up with the two different shades of green so we are getting close to the few screenshots i have of this build so as always you can find this build on the gallery my id is alric but you can also find it under the hashtag anime sims i hope you enjoyed this and if you did don't forget to comment like and subscribe for more content and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future i hope you all have an amazing day and i'll see you all in my next video bye